Welcome back everybody. Hope you all are having a fantastic day. We are back today with a Twilight Masquerade booster box. Uh, it's been a while since I've made a video, so let's get right back into it with this booster box. It's been a while since I've opened a booster box as well, so let's see what we can get out of this. Twilight Masquerade Booster Box. Alrighty, let's grab our first pack and get right into it. So I've been, uh, haven't been opening too much Twilight Masquerade. Um, so this is probably the most packs that I will be opening today. And for our first rare, we got an Inferni. And also, the packs that I have been opening, not too much, too much luck. Um, I got an Iron Thorns full art, and that's about it. Nothing, nothing super crazy other than that guy. So let's see if we can turn that luck around today with this booster box. I'm gonna Dreepy, a Vulpix, and an Iron Leaves Hollow. So starting out a little slow, like most of the rest of the packs that I have been opening. The, uh, the pull rate for uh, Twilight Masquerade has been a little bit tricky. We got a more Peko, a Belly Bolt, Reverse, Timber Reverse, and a Macargo EX. So we got our first EX of the box. And trying out the. Trying out scissors instead of just opening them regularly because I, I struggle opening these newer packs. They're just too tough. And we got a Blissey EX, our second EX in a row. So looks like things are heating up a little bit. We got our Sinistra pack coming up. And let me know how you guys have been enjoying Twilight Masquerade so far. I think I opened up a lot of the uh, Japanese version. Um, I really enjoyed uh, that booster box. Um, what was it? Put it down on the screen now. That box with the uh, the Blood Moon Ursula. Still looking for that guy. But I really enjoyed opening up the that Japanese booster box. Lots of nice artworks in that set. Another Iron Leaves. A lot of duplicates. A lot of duplicates. Mariana Iron Bundle Festival Grounds Cook Trainer Card A Palfin And a Frost Blast So uh, nothing too crazy so far But we are just getting into Our uh, booster box So More cards still to come Hopefully Better cards we got a spin rack. River Room. Not a really big fan of the River Rooms, they're a little weird. And we got a Reverse Hollow Iron Leaves. A Swirlix. And a Sinish Jaw Hollow Card. Alrighty. I know 
there have been a, uh, I think the North American tournament happened a little bit ago, and then, um, let's see, what else happened? Card Party 2 happened a little bit ago. Super jealous of everyone that got to go to that. I really wanted to go. So hopefully, let's see, Card Party 3. If there's a Card Party 3, which it sounds like there will be, hopefully, I will be able to go to that one. I think they are, I heard they were doing it in um, uh, Florida and then somewhere in the Northwest, I think, is what the, the plan was for that. So we'll see what happens with that and look forward to the upcoming info on Card Party 3. looked like a lot of fun um, for everyone that it did get to go so if you did get to go let me know how it was in the comments we got a chimchar warlapede ogre mask sunflora spinning like a game enamorous and a chandelier hollow. So a bunch of hollows, but nothing, no, uh, no crazy cards quite yet. Move that pile out of the way. Make some more room. And get into our next part. We got a Kofei, Shinx, Poltergeist, Lurm, Hammer, Monferno, and a Sinisha EX. There we go. Our first full art rare. I do like Sinisha and Sinisty. I like these. These new uh, versions of this Pokemon. It's a little matcha twist. All right, on to the next one. Let's see if we can get any other rare cards. Let's see what the pull rate of these boxes are. Gonna polyrath. Waddle, Watro. And we got a teal mask ogre pond. Not sure if you can see it or not, but these do have some texture to them, so when you when you're first looking at them before you get to it, it kinda looks like you have a really good card, then it turns into just a, a regular old EX, which is kind of a little bait and switch, if you ask me. But it is what it is. Keeps you on your toes. We got a far fetched Chorkle, Kadabra, Halicha, Brew. On it again, a uh, reverse ducklet, reverse full belly bay, and another hollow team room. So, uh, nothing yet. No, uh, no art, full art cards. Quite yet, so let's see if we can get some of that going on these next few packs. Got a far-fetched reversed, a monkey dory reverse, and a walking lake hollow card. So, like I said, the pull rates on uh, Twilight Masquerade are a little tricky. So far we've only gotten this Sinistra EX 
out of this box and we're probably somewhere close to maybe halfway I'd say. Not quite there, but getting there. We got a happy little Grookey swinging in the trees. Another one of these at Brute Bonnets. Another bug catching set. Pincer. Corpish. And another Monkey Dory. So, lots of repeat cards in this first half of our, our box here. So, not. Not too impressed with this booster box. Hopefully, we can get some better luck in these next coming packs. Maybe we're saving, saving the best for last. Hopefully, we got a water again, a Volbeat. Goldeen, Sand Guest, Kilowattrel, Glay, Ogre Mask, Diplin Reverse, Halucha Reverse, and a Palfin EX. So our first uh, EX in a little, well, regular EX in a little while. Got a nose pass, seeking Sunkrin Abra, Jamming Tower, and we got our first Alt Art Carta Timber. Always building stuff, that Timber. A nice little card there. Your the artworks on these, uh, these alt art cards are getting really good. I enjoy them. I just wish they uh, they weren't so hard to pull, but that's what makes Pokemon Pokemon. So let's see if we can get any more alt arts or art rares. We got a Molga, Agron, Clefable, Cook again. A Sunfloor Reverse, Infernape Reverse Rare, and we got our Full Art Trainer card, a Kirin. Very nice looking card there. Looks like it's there at a, a park of some sort. Kind of contemplating life or something along those lines. Very cool looking card though. Very nice, very nice. So, uh, heating up a little bit in these last few packs. Let's keep that momentum going into the next one. We got our Ogre Pond pack. We got a Tangry. Then a Pete. We got a Chansey. Iron Bundle. Robo Pass, a Poliwhirl Reverse, and a Heatran Hollow. So, three in a row, not possible. Two in a row is probably going to be our, uh, our max for uh, pulls in a row. But, we should still be getting a few more rares in here. We got a regular Teal Mask Ogre Pond Hollow card there. Hollywell again, Tangela, Shinx, Club Fairy, Love Ball, Belly Bolt. Shinx again, reverse. Kadabra reverse. And the Arcanine hollow. So 
to after our uh, two art poles there. We've gotten just a couple hollows, so cool enough after those those two art cards. We got a phantom. Slugma Glamora Area Dose. Trainer cards, Swana Reverse, Litwick Reverse, and a Cornerstone Mask Ogrepon EX. So we got now a few of those Ogrepons. I'll take a card from the back. See what's hiding up back there. Polyworld. Tangela, Shinx, Leafeon, Polchegeist Reverse, A Abron Reverse, and another Overpond. So, getting down towards the last dozen or so packs. Only three real crazy pulls, so hopefully we can get Hopefully at least two, two more crazy pulls would be nice. There's a girder and a pheasant dip. Varum, Volbeat, Lexio, Goldeen. Boomerang Energy Slurp Buff. And we got our first ace spec, a scoop up cyclone. Put one of your poke put one of your Pokemon and all attached cards into your hand. It could be a very nice card in the, the TCG game. And a Frostless Hollow. Alright, next pack, Swirlix, Flababy, Slurpuff, Melodic, Milotic, Heron, Carmine, and a Frostlass Art Rare. Frostlass being a little sneaky in the night there. Nice little artwork. Not sure what Frostlass is doing there, but it's a cool looking card. And we got a Zapdos Hollow. So we got, let's see, five, five, down to nine cards left, or nine packs left, sorry. Let's see what else we can get. I think we should hopefully get at least one more. Art rare or special art. Hopefully. We got a wacky. And a walking wake once more. Appling. Chimchar. And rare is Chandelier. The only thing about booster box boxes that I don't like too much is once you get into it, you keep pulling a lot of the same cards. But the good thing about booster boxes that I like is that you are guaranteed at least a handful of either uh, art rares, super rares, some kind of combination. So I think that's that's kind of what you're paying for is uh, getting some guaranteed pulls rather than getting uh, buying some single blister packs or whatever. Or, uh, maybe just be whatever, whatever they put in there. And we got our first Ogie Dogie. So we got all three of the new 
Are they legendaries? I think they're legendaries. But we've gotten all three of them now. We've got the whole gang together. Torkoal Cadabra. Jammy Tower. Glaceon. Diplin. Community Center Reverse. Seeking Reverse. And we got. This is our first EX in a regular EX in a while. We got our Luxray EX there. We got four more packs left. We got two Sinus Jaws and two Ogre Palms. Let's see if they can bring us any last pack magic. We got Nose Pass. Hot drinks, Alfin Tetsuguri, Diplin, Heliolisk Reverse, Skarmory Reverse, and another Inferno Hollow Card. We'll do a Ogre Pond coming up next. So, kind of a little bit of an underwhelming booster box if you ask me Let's see yeah well oh, we got another ace back it looks like a secret box you can use this card only if you discard three other cards from your hand search your deck for an item card a Pokemon tool card a supporter card and a stadium card. Reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Hmm. <laughs> Seems like a alright. I feel like there's better A spec cards out there. And we got a Alakazam Hollow there. That's our first one of him. Nice looking artwork there. Looks like there's like some coral underwater? I don't know. Or maybe it's like a. Uh, it's a haunted little forest there. With the pink leaves. I don't know why you would be underwater. Spooky forest makes more sense. Alright, our penultimate pack Sinistraw. We got a Dreepy. Sand Gas, Phoebus, Wolpex, Arian Melodic, Ariados, Tangrowth Reverse, Giraffe Rig, and we got a Dragon Pull EX, Terra EX. Nice and shiny card there. Still not the biggest fan of the, the Terra cards. But out of all of them, I'd say Dragapult probably looks one of the better looking Terra EX cards. I think they uh, simplified them up a little bit, which is nice. Alright, last pack in our Twilight Masquerade booster box. We got a uh, Phantom, Kirin, Cramorant, Tetsuguri. Ogre Masks Reverse, The Room Reverse, and our final rare of the day is an Ogie Dogie. Alright guys, well thanks for watching with me, and uh, I will see you on the next one. Peace!